go once again. We Woo! are back. Episode 21 of the He Said, She Said podcast right here on TikTok. Lady G, how are you doing today? 21? 21. How first, 21st happen? episode. Be- could you mean how did that happen? Because last week we did 20. <laughs> And the next one is 21, which is this week. No, it just feels like it's going by so fast. Like these Every episodes, week, we're knocking them out. We're like, we're we're in our groove. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, sometimes I'm like, all right, what am I going to talk about this week? Are you? So You're like, feeling like that? Sometimes. You know what I mean? Because, we, you know, we're just trying it's something new. So it's just, you know. Yeah. Uh, but as we, we've... Before we get it started, we always want to go ahead and shout out our sponsors. So we definitely want to send a big shout out to Alpha Medicine and Rehab. So yeah. if you are in a car accident, make sure you check them out, Alpha Medicine and Rehab. Uh, you know, it's a big responsibility when you get into a car accident and you want the best help you can. Don't just go to the doctors. You need to go and get seen by professionals like Alpha Medicine and Rehab. They have the doctors. They have lawyers. They have everybody that can help you in the case of an accident. So make sure you check them out. At the bottom of our screen is all the information. And, uh, you know, go check them out. And Lady G, what do we also have? Hey, Miramar Pools, LLC. Yep, LLC. And I got the pool of my dreams. And you can get one, too. So make sure you go Miramar Pools. If you are in the Florida area, you're looking for a pool for your home, make sure you check them out because they are definitely there to give you the best pool possible. And they're very sleek. They're very, they're amazing. So, yeah. And with that being said, hey, I like the sign. You that's like a it? special touch. That's that right. We AF, have up there. AF Cultures. If you have a podcast and you want to go ahead and have an amazing, uh, you know, sign, you go ahead and check them out. And all the information, once again, at the bottom of the screen, AF Cultures. Tell them what Swag Madova sent you. Well, I remember it was this time last year that you started working on this media room, yeah. and you were taking your time working and putting it together. And, you know, I, I like all the finishing touches that you added to the room. Thank it's you, It's very nice. I, I enjoy being you. in here. I appreciate you. You tell me that every week. Every <laughs> week you say the same thing. You know what? And I appreciate that. Well, you I want to make sure me. you know that I appreciate everything that you do for us. Because you do it all. Acknowledge you do it me. All. And now with that mustache, you're doing more. What are you trying to say? Why do you say it like that? you saying it like that. like is it, Baby, if you don't like it, tell me. Moving on. If you don't like it, tell me no. No moving on. Oh. Be honest, because when you're saying, <laughs> by the way, your mustache, you're trying to tell me something and you just don't want to oh, say it. I'm not trying to tell you nothing. You are trying to tell me something. You're trying to tell me. You're no. trying to tell me something without telling me something. Te ves bien, papi. But stop making fun of it. I appreciate you. I they stop mentioning it. I just want to make sure if you're, you're gonna in a say, good you know place. What? If, I you know what sure. I want to hear? If you say, you know what? I want to tell you that with that mustache, you are so sexy. Yes. Like, if you're not saying it like that, if you're going to be like, hey, by the way, you know, you got that mustache now. It's like, 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 I don't know. Like, no, you're making fun of me. No, I'm not making fun of you. But whenever we're recording videos, it's, sometimes it's hard for me to stay serious because I just zone in on it. And I'm like just staring at it. But are you? But I don't know what to make of that. Like, if you're going to say, I just, I, I look at you and I'm like, damn, no, I may look I good like with that. No, I like it. Está lindo. Sí, se ve bien. You're pacifying me. No. Yes, you are. I can tell. Babe, you wore this. When you wore this this that you have on, I said, <laughs> damn, you look good, girl. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, you it spanked had, me. Yes, I did. And I didn't ask for a spanking. That's right. But guess what? Well, I'm going to do it because you look good. <laughs> so you're like, damn, you look good. But if I said, Psh, I don't know what you put that on for. I mean, when you put that on, <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly. Thank you. That's exactly how you make me oh feel. Oh my goodness! Stop. I don't have tissue. This one thing that that I am gonna complain about this room. It doesn't have a box of tissue. Yes, I need to get you tissue. Not tissues. because I'm crying, but because I'm crying. Like, yes, because out of it's laughter. being fun. But by yes. the way, I want to go ahead and I want to welcome. Our TikTok viewers, <laughs> what's going on, TikTok? Oh yeah, it's our goodness. first time doing this like this, so you guys are actually witnessing our podcast that we are recording right now. Oh, my God. This comes out tomorrow on YouTube, so once you yes. see this, we have to edit the whole thing and all of that stuff, but you are getting to actually see the podcast live as we are uh, recording it for our YouTube viewers. So make sure you go to YouTube Go to Swag Madovars <sighs> and uh, make sure that, uh, you know, you let us know how you're liking it. And I hope you guys can hear us because 
I mm. don't know. And I, I don't, it, do me a favor. If you can hear us, can you put a bunch of stars as emojis? Because I could at least see the stars because I'm a little blind over here. So if I see some stars, then I know you guys can hear us perfectly. And, sound check, sound check. And can the one you hear twos, me one now? twos. Because I know we, we're being recorded over here and uh, everything looks good. But I want to make sure, okay, is, I do right? see some stars. Yes, thank you so much. Ah, Enjoy bueno. it. We are here, but You know, we usually do this podcast around 40, 45 minutes, depending on how it goes. We, and, we really uh, don't put a time on it. We just kind of... We don't. We yeah. do what we do. Correct. And it's very, talk. It's, we and like it's to very, talk. Yeah, we like to talk. And it's very different than when we do the He Said, She Said live on Thursday nights. Yeah. Because we're putting music on, and it's much more of an entertaining or entertainment, yeah. I guess. And when we do this, we kind of like really have topics or come up with with things to talk about, which yeah. we, we think is relevant. So we hope you guys enjoy it. TikTok. That's Thank you right. for the hearts. We appreciate it. Make sure you share this motherfucking laugh. Yeah. Share this motherfucking laugh. All right. <laughs> so we have decided. Yep, that it's time. That it's time to actually talk about something very important. Very. Something that people always talk about. And or are, are asking, they're, they're always inquiring, they're yeah. asking. And I said, you know what? We've been saying it, we're gonna make a podcast, um, in regards to this. And uh, and here it is. And it's because a lot of people ask us, How did you guys meet? And instead of us always talking about the story, we just decided to make a podcast out of it, and then you know, go from there and just see how. What else we talk about in regards to relationship and stuff like that. But, yeah. you know, I, I just, I must say, you know, that um, you were stalking me. <laughs> you were stalking me and uh, and I was you trying to get you. had to file a complaint. I had to file a complaint. I reported you, you to, to the house. to HR. You I went did. To I went HR. to HR in our jobs. Yeah. You were following me with your car. I had to call the police and I said, this is, <laughs> I got a strange woman. No. It wasn't like oh that. Oh, my so, goodness. Let me start by saying this. Let's clear the rumor. What is the rumor? The rumor is that we were high school sweethearts. Correct. We are we not. We are not. High, sorry to bust your bubble. Yes. We now, are not high school sweethearts. I do want to say we. I did have a crush on you, though, oh. in high school. I mean, well. So I, does that a, make it a high school no, sweetheart? No, baby, oh, because oh. you had another boyfriend. <laughs> Instead of picking me, you didn't pick All me. Right. I don't think today you're right. obviously like going so, through something. I don't think today's yeah, the right just day to bad do this memories. podcast. So, <laughs> so okay, so the way it happened is, you know, we're in elementary school, yes. and uh, we're, we're we're in elementary elementary school, <laughs> and we in so Bridgeport, Connecticut. In Bridgeport, Connecticut. I gotta let them know. Two hundred three, eighth grade, and uh, we're we're in this, you know, whatever, and. I'm, it's my first year in this school because I was going to a bilingual school before. Yes. And then I, this is my first time going to like English mainstream. Why did you switch so, to that school? Did your mom move? No, no, because oh. I went to Blackham school. It was a bilingual school. So once my bilingual period was over, they said, all right, you have to now go to school. So the, the school that the city put me on, it was the one that was closest to my house where I was living at, which was Curiel. Oh, okay. So we, I went to that school and, you know, she was at that school. Now, um, I was in your group. Yes. So, so the way that the schools were. I think it was 8-8 eight, eight or you something had eight, like that. No, it was 8-4. So it was like 8-1, 8-2, 8-3, 8-4, 8-5, and 8-6. 8-6, I think, was the last one. No, or it was 8-7. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, I thought it was It was 8th grade, group, but... and then you had... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. So yeah. the closer you are to z to one, it's the smartest people. Mm -hmm. So I was in eight four. They put me in eight four. I don't know how the fuck I got to eight four, girl. But I got to eight four. But I was like, your mom had the hookup. She had the hookup, but I couldn't. I, like it was very advanced for me. And again, I was speaking Spanish a lot. Finished my bilingual classes. I go to eight four, which eight four is a little bit smarter group, or yeah. you know, more English fluently. Fluid. So I think that's where I met you. I think it wasn't eight four. Where, where which one were you at? I can't remember. I thought I was an eight eight, but now you're saying nah, it didn't damn, exist. Girl. You now you're saying it didn't you exist. Dumb. <laughs> no. no, so it was I think I thought you were in eight four with me, and then they moved me to eight six. Cause there's a guy, you know, because I was like, you look, these are two advanced classes. Like okay. I'm I'm not getting the teacher. I don't know. So they moved me to A6. And but I knew of you because you had your little clique. You had a little clique, girl. I had my friends. You had your friends. 
And I only and, saw and you. And I took the typewriting class after school, and you was there. Well, correct. But let's get to that, though. Okay. It was a, you had your friend, yep. and uh, and I was like a little nerdy guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't, I wasn't hip. I wasn't in the, you know, what I'm saying in the in the groove. I knew the, uh, some of the music, but I, it was I was still getting to know the culture of the yeah. United States. Um, so I was just, you know, what we call a hick. Whatever. But you had your friends, and I remember going to the lunchroom, and I used to see you. You used to sit on the right side. Yeah, I did. You're damn right. You I did. remember You're that. damn right, you did, because I saw you. <laughs> and I said, damn, that girl looked good. Like, you know, in my mind. I said, baby, esa mujer está bien buena. Esa mujer está bien buena. But I didn't, I felt like I didn't have game. You know what I'm saying? Like, at that point. So I was, you know, I had glasses. Like, I had, like, a... A lot of hair, you know what I'm saying? I remember the first, I always talk about this, the first time my stepdad gave me a haircut. Yeah, I used to have haircuts, but they weren't like fades or anything like that. Yeah. So he It takes wasn't the like scissors. going to a barbershop. Yes. He takes the scissors, and I had glasses, right? This is before my LASIK surgery. So he cuts with the scissors, he cuts my hair from here all the way around like this. Pop, pop, all the way here. That's it. No shaving at the bottom, nothing. It was just one line. It felt like I had a rubber band from one side of the glasses to the other, and it was just stuck to my head because it was just one line cut. So I was just like, I was like, yeah, I ain't got no game. I, I, I never felt like I had a shot with you at all. So I just thought that you were pretty. Uh, well, then we got to meet at the after school program because I talked... Yeah. I uh, I took the typewriting classes, mm -hmm. and you were taking typewriting classes. And, and now learn, all I use did you all learn I anything? Use is my thumbs. No. Did you learn anything? No, Even when I you're when you could be oh, this girl right here, I would say you got the most powerful <laughs> index fingers. She's like <laughs> click click, and you're fast. Yeah. You're like, click, click, <laughs> click 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 click. At least I, I learned can give something. Give you a word document in record time. With two fingers, just <laughs> do, 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 and when do, do, I'm do, do, on do. my phone, the thumbs are like they're in, they're like they're in, they're, they're going locked in. and loaded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. And, but but that haircut, you try doing that to one of your kids nowadays, they'll call DCF on you. <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro, it was yeah, bad. Back then, parents could abuse and it do was whatever, bad. but try yeah. that shit right now and see what's gonna happen yep, to you. Yep. So Heads you are gonna you, roll. So you had a uh, a boyfriend. When you no, that, oh, that was now we're that skipping was, to high school. No, oh, you didn't have a boyfriend in eighth grade. I had a boy that would walk me home halfway home and then he'd walk back to his house, but okay, but it, it wasn't it like wasn't, a boyfriend. No, it wasn't. And the he funny never, thing is, like, like you live, yeah, you live like right down the street from me, yes, because you lived in uh in Dewey and I was I in lived Hancock. a couple of blocks away, yeah, I was in Hancock uh, Avenue and it was like you know. Yeah. But I, I just thought you was always so pretty. So we're talking about like 1990, 1991. Yeah. That's what we're talking there. about. Yeah, yeah. And we, and you know, we were in, in eighth grade. Correct. So I knew, so we knew each other from then. And then when we went to high school, because after eighth grade. You went grade, to another high school. Yeah, because my, in eighth grade, my friends were not your friends. Like we, I, we knew no. of each other, but we weren't like. Hanging, hanging with the out, same crowd. Talking or whatever. Not until we got to high school. So in high school, I ended up, I was like, I will always follow my girlfriends to their <laughs> schools. That's what it was. I got, I got Is that where of... Brandon gets it from? What do you mean? Brandon only switched once, but it wasn't, oh, anyway. Anyway, the whole point was, okay, I was in Central, and then I got kicked, I was moving around a lot, man. I got kicked out a lot of times. You know what it is? And again, you were I, trying to fit in. It I was like... trying to fit in. I was trying to fit in because I I didn't like think about it. Like, and this is why I tell people it's so important to when you're raising your kids and when you move to another country. Like, like in Puerto Rico, I have my friends, I have my clique, I have my, you know what I'm saying? Like my peers. Like we would go out and hang out. We were kids. Yeah. But we would hang out in the, you know, in the little block, in a little area, and then I had my friends and I get put into the United States. We come in October. It's cold as hell. Like, I, it was a culture shock. Yeah. So when it came to high school, I'm trying to kind of fit in, trying to find my place. You know, I didn't want to be the oddball out. So with that came a lot of 
bullshit, right? Because then you start yeah. doing things that you're not supposed to. And a lot cutting, of rebellion. A lot of, yeah, cutting class. And your your mom, she's a single mom. Shout out to her for that. Yeah. So she's busy working, trying to provide a roof for you, try to provide food on the table. Correct. And then, yeah, you have a stepdad. That's cool. But still, you know, your mom was doing a lot of the, the legwork. Yeah, yeah, there. a lot, for sure, for sure. I mean, and we was going to church. I was in church all my life. But yeah. I was like that rebellious kid. Don't yeah. think that church kids are good kids. Some of us were bad kids. <laughs> you don't want to know what we used to do in the back of the church bus. Yeah. No, but the thing is, you know, so we ended up going to high school. Yep. And then um, you transferred in. I to, transferred into into Bullet Havens, into your high school. Yep. And that was in 1993. And we were in 10th grade when that happened. So we were in the 10th grade. You transferred in. And so yeah. for six months, you're... You have my same exact schedule. Correct. And I did. we're and that's going what... class to class. I said, damn, she's here. And we're sitting Woo. like this. Like, we're like this. We're like this. We're right like next to each, each other. other. Uh-huh. So I had a girlfriend at the high school. You had a boyfriend, too, but your boyfriend didn't go to the high school. I just remember that I used to take the bus with you, and... My boyfriend was waiting for me. Your... Babe, what and happened? It's fine. I get Are it, Are you girl. okay? No, I'm not okay, babe, babe, because that should have been me. That should have been me, because I always thought that you look good when I went to the high school. I was like, damn, she's here. Oh my she's goodness. that girl from, from the other school. She's here. She look good. But okay. in there, we became friends. Yes. But you and had a girlfriend, too, so I would yes. I would read her letters, Yes. Yeah, so and then you would read... Correct. So back in those days, we had these things, young generation, called love letters. Yes. It wasn't a text. It wasn't a DM. No. It was a love letter. Yeah, it wasn't even so, a beeper. It was just a love letter. A love letter. letter. You get it, and you, you fold it up into this little square, and everybody knows everybody. And know it was exactly in your handwriting. About. It was real personal. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it was personal. Like, you, you're writing this from the bottom of your heart. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> yes. listen to LL Cool J. I need mean, love. love. You're like, yeah, girl. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so at that point, we used to have um, classes together. So yep. I would read your love letters. You will read mine. And then we will tell each other what to write to, what the, to, other, say. to the other person. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And can, so, I, can I say something? <clears throat> yeah. Your ex would walk by the classroom and she would say, I love you, George. And everybody Bro. would turn around and just look at you. And I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's like, it was crazy like, because fine. I was in that school not even, I mean, I wasn't even there for like, what, six months or something like it that? It was six months, yeah. Right, when I was in that school and then then uh, I got kicked out. <laughs> no, I re no, I remember I left. you came and you said to me, oh, yeah, because I gotta I broke go. Up with, yeah, I broke up with my girl. And I was like, I said, I'm out. what happened? Why do you have to leave? And you were just like, well, I'm no longer with Yanitza. And my mom bought a house in Trumbull, Connecticut. And we're moving over there. So I'm going to Trumbull High. Correct. And I was like, bye. Yes. And that and was I it. I thought that was the I end. I said, bye. I thought that was the end. of. I was like, that was the end. I was like, yeah, I'm never going to see her again. Yep. Or whatever. So ends up, so fast forwarding, you know what I'm saying? Um, Two years go by. Correct. And my... Uncle is working for this what would you call it? Home. like a convalescent home for older folks, and he's a dishwasher at this place. Yeah, and he's moving back to Puerto Rico. So he talks to his boss and says, "I got a nephew that I would like to to bring in." So they give me the interview. But you're gonna um, tell them why you were looking for a job? Because I had a kid. Oh, <laughs> thank you. What? You had a I kid had a kid. I had to do way. my thing, man. He Shit. was about to be a fighter. I was a fighter. But I can't, <laughs> yo, and that's just crazy, right? Because I, this is the craziest <laughs> stuff. Like, and this is what I'm saying. Like, people, stay in school. Do your stuff. Don't let shit, like, Listen up. Listen up. mess you up. Like, because the things that you do are, like, sometimes, like, what I, this shit I used to do was dumb. So, I had my, my daughter, and the, I'm on my senior year of school. My daughter's born in July, or she's going to be born in that July, whatever. It's my senior year. In December, I decided to drop out of school to go get a job. Like, bro, all I had to do is stay in and graduate. Uh -huh. I decide to drop out to go get a job. So close to finishing. Just so close. And, and nobody, and like, stopped you. Like, nobody said, hey, no, my wait, mom think said, about no. it. No, yeah, my mom, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know if my mom probably stopped, tried to stop me, but at that point, like, I was just like, Nah, this is what I'm going to do. I have a kid. I got to do responsibilities. And I'm like, I'm literally like, 
on my own. I mean, I'm with my mom, yeah, probably but seemed I, like a good idea I'm still at young. the moment. Huh? It probably just seemed like a good idea at the moment. Probably seemed like a good idea at the moment, especially in those times, because in the 90s, like, that's yeah. what you knew, especially coming from where we come from. Yeah. In Bridgeport, like, there was a lot of dropouts, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, like, <clears throat> with kid, young people with kids. It was just, like, a thing, I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to say it was a thing, but it was just from from where when we were raised, you saw that a lot. Yeah. You know you what I'm saying? You did see it. It was, like, the norm. And Correct. we're talking about 19... By this time, it's 1995. Yes. 1995. He decides to go work, Right. Is that where yeah, you're at? So I, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I ended up going on work or whatever, and I leave school, which is the, the dumbest decision ever. Yeah. Um, decided to uh, de- decide to uh, to do that, and then now I'm just, like, working. I'm working in landscaping or something like that. I'm doing some stuff, and my uncle says, you know, you need a job. So he, he's like, yeah, I'm going to hook you up. So they end up, long story short, they end up giving me an interview and they hire me. I walk in. I walk in on my first day. <laughs> I open that door. Who do I see? Hey, Christina. here I am. Uh, she goes, oh, my God, George, you're here. George. Yeah, yeah, you came over here. You gave me a hug. And by that I time. Believe, I couldn't believe that he was actually there. I was like, oh, this correct. is interesting. Correct. And I was a dietary aide. So I helped serve uh, the dining room. Yes. And then um, you would go and clean all the dishes. I do all the dishes. I always so, say it was but, a match made in heaven. But but this. <laughs> you do the dishes. I do the cooking. And that's it. I but, just say like but that. But it wasn't that simple. If only life was that simple. Right. 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 That was just the beginning of. Uh, a really long time of oh, you yeah, trying uh, to... Correct. But, yeah, correct. So, but by this time, I'm already in it, boy. I'm like, yeah, I'm slick <laughs> with it. You know what I'm saying? No, I my you're car- not. Yes, I was slick you with it, were baby. Slick you were not Yes, I was slick you with it. You were a whole baby daddy. Yes, you know what, what, I mean? I, what I mean to say is I got style. Like, at this point, oh, I know how to talk okay. to you. I'm like, yo, let me take you on a date. <laughs> I got you, you know what I'm saying? By this time, I'm seasoned in the United States. You know what I'm saying? I got, yeah. I got, I got time. No, what you was was fertile. That's what you was. You was out here making babies. Babe, I only had one. Yeah, I know. That so anyway, was, one so, was so from that time on, I always try to get with you. I was like, yo, you let did. me, yo, let me, let me, let me take you out. And, and all where that would stuff you and... say you wanted to take me? Where did you huh? say? I mean, I would take you up like, yo, let's go out. I mean, it was but like... you said to the, something specific. To, what, to the movies? No. To the club? No. To my house, in my bedroom. <laughs> no. I'm like, yo, let me go to the... Let's go get a 40. You, you let's go to the telly no, and watch you movies. you never said that. You were like, uh, can I can I take you out? I, I want to go to Bush Garden with you. I want to take you to Bush Garden. Oh, yeah, to so Bush Garden. <laughs> What's not Bush Garden? It, it was Six Flags. Oh, Six Flags. It was Six Flags Great Adventures. <laughs> Six but before flag. that, I was like, yeah, we go hit up the telly, you know what I'm saying? Watch a movie. <laughs> oh my God. I, I cannot take But anyway, seriously. so I've been, I've been, oh out, so did, with, you didn't have a man though. And that's no. the problem is like, you didn't have a man and you didn't let me take you out. I didn't have a man. <clears throat> well, you didn't but, let me take you but out. But you had, you know, a child. I did. And I didn't want no part of that. I right. didn't want none right. of it. So what made you... Kind of like change my mind. Yes, but I'm, 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 oh, I'm, okay, I'm okay. but I answer this in a little bit, right? Because when I, when I stopped working there, yeah. But let's rewind. Okay, go. I couldn't take you seriously during that time. Yes. you smoked pot every single day. Let's like, let's be real. You know what I mean? We are gonna talk about this. We gonna well, just talk be about careful. the we'll truth. We get kicked out of a. Uh, we gonna talk. We, we gonna talk truth. Smoking. I was well, that's your smoking. problem for putting <laughs> them on here. You wanted the I was behind smoking the this, scenes. Relax, but I, I was smoking and smoking and smoking and smoke. I was yeah. I was doing the Snoop Dogg. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, I was wild. I was wild with it. I'm not like that oh any longer, good. though. No, you're not. But see, that's the thing. But like, that was that was an impression on me, and I knew what I wanted. And I didn't want to be number two to nobody. Correct. And I didn't want nobody that was going to be doing that. But, you know? but let me ask, and this is the thing. Like, my mom raised me right. Like, yes, I was a little knucklehead, but my mom raised me right. Yeah, so you like, have morals. You have when morals. you gave me, when you 
okay, called me. Let's get that straight. When you <laughs> decided to call me and said, let's go out on a date, and then you came to my house. Wait, you're moving so fast. Okay, like, I'm you're sorry. You're acting like when we were working together, moving okay. really fast. Okay, let me take it, let me take so it back. we worked together during that time. I, I didn't take any of your advances. I didn't go out with you. Yes, and you did not. And then you stopped Some working bullshit. with us, and you yes. went to go work at, at the hospital. Yes. And you were uh, cleaning and setting up operating rooms. Yes. And so I saw that the manager at the nursing home still had our telephone numbers up on the board. And yes. I was thinking about you. And this I is wonder a, why. Because I played I play the cards right. You know what I did, is, right? You gave me a lot of attention. Well, I told Louis. So Louis is my cousin. He was also working there with me. And I said, bro, I need you to, when you go to work, I need you to talk about me, bro. <laughs> talk about me to Christina. I just be like, yo, yeah, man. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I was just chilling with Guillo, you know, like, man, that dude, man, he's, just, he's a cool ass <laughs> dude. I said, just just talk about me. And it worked because one day worked. you called well, me. I beeped you. I didn't call you. I you beeped, beeped you. You beeped me on my beeper. And it was May 12 of 1996. And right. it just happened to be Mother's Day. She said, you, you, oh, and man, was that was all evil. Over that. I said, well, I'm going to see if he's with the baby mama. Let me just say this. You were very slick. Ladies, listen up. This is how you play the game. Listen to what she did and how smart it is. I was like, Dan, you really was trying to play me. But she wasn't. She was like, I'm going to see if this dude is really about it. So what did you do? So I beeped him and call, you called back right away. And you were like, who's this? And I was like, Christina from 3030. But wait, wait. Why did you beat me on Mother's Day? It's so Mother's I'm, Day. I'm about to get to that. Okay, great. Go. So then I so then um, I was like, what are you doing? You were like, I'm spending the day with my daughter. And I'm like, anybody else? And you were like, and my mom. And you were like, but what's going on? You know, you're calling me. I, I can't believe this. And I said, well, you always said that you wanted to go out with me and for us to hang out. Um, I have time to hang out today. Do you want to go to the movies? And then you were like, yes, I do. Let, give me some time. I'll bring my daughter. No, no. I said, I said, when do you want to go? She's like, right now. <laughs> now. We didn't go right now. We, but we went, went that a day. couple of hours later that night at 7 p.m. Same we met thing, up at Dutch's. Same thing. Yeah, but I wasn't trying to interfere with you and your daughter time. I wasn't no, no, no. To get but why that. did you call me on? Why did you do it I on Mother's Day? I wanted to make day? sure you weren't with the baby mama. Look and that. that I wasn't going to be in the That's, middle of that any is drama. Smart. Baby mama, baby drama. I, hey, I give you that. That was smart. <laughs> Doing it on Mother's Day. Like, yeah, I'm going I'm I'm to see if he's with baby mama. If he's with baby mama, then it's I'm over. A, I'm going to move on. Yep, I'm going to do my... So this was in Luckily, May I told 12, him, like, yeah, you got to go. 1996. <laughs> huh? It was May 12, 1996. Yes. And then from that point on, we went out. We went to the movies. Yes. And, and we been, saw... And we saw Twister. And from that day on, yes. we've been together. That's Non-stop. crazy. I, I think we have a great story. I I really told I tell you over and over again when I went out with you that night and when I went to your house, when I met your family, um, shortly after that, like I had a different impression of you. I was like, wait, it's not what I think. It's it not is. what I thought it was. Yes, yeah, like you were actually a real legit guy. You were dope. We had a lot in common. And um, we got along really well, and um, we just hit it off, like, yeah. right away. Then the deal came where I had to talk to my mom, because now I was into you, and I had to let her know, hey, I, I like somebody, but he already has a child. What do you think about that? Because I had strict parents. And yeah, and the crazy thing is, like, how old are we back then? 19. Like, 19, We bro. were 19. That's crazy. And you had a, a one-year-old oh. uh, child, and so then... Um, like you were doing that every weekend, you were working full time, doing your thing, yeah, and assuming responsibilities. You had went through the courts and you were paying child support, yeah, and all this stuff. Like you were like doing your thing, like you were impressive. That's it, baby. Yeah. Am I still you impressing you? You had a car. What Am was so- the car uh, that you had? I had a su- 1992 Subaru Legacy, Subaru boy. Subaru Legacy. That thing, listen, in that <laughs> car. Remember when? Remember when? A, when? A, when? Watch what you say. Watch what no, you no, say. No, 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 no. Remember when cars had the uh, the, the the like the phone that like you can get a, co- a yes. phone and it was a cord to the center console, whatever, and it was there. 
So I used to have a phone it, that. So the Subaru Legacy was a used one, but it was in mint condition. This thing yeah, was it was beautiful. Blue. It was a dark beautiful. blue. Beautiful. 1992 Subaru Legacy. Yeah. Came, never forget it. And it came with one of those phones in there. So once in a while, when I used to go to the park, we used to have this park called Seaside Park. And when you go to Seaside Park, everybody's there with the systems booming. Yeah. People outside doing picnics, whatever. People are just like. So I used to drive through Subaru with the Subaru Legacy, windows all the way down, blasting the system on the phone. That phone was not even connected to no service or nothing. I was just, I was definitely, it was all cap. I was just like, <laughs> oh yeah, you know, what I'm acting like if I'm on the phone. And then if you really thought about it, no. how the hell are you talking on the phone when the music that damn loud? Yeah, you can. But those, but those, those, those were the days. But when you had the, when you had the phone in your car. You were it. Yeah. Uh-huh. You were it. Yeah. You're like, dude, you got a phone in the car, bro. So anyway, so then um, we we start dating, and then uh, in July 18 of 1998 was when we got married. And we, we got married. 21. Bro. Oh my god. And we recently 21. talked about on our TikTok live how our first apartment was six hundred dollars. Yes. And it included everything but the cable. And that mm-hmm. was crazy to think that now what people pay for rent now. Obviously, no, for so. sure, for sure. But like, but, um, what I look at is like, you know, our our daughter's twenty four. Her age, we already had. Her right. By twenty four, I was having her. Yeah, I was. I was, was having. You between twenty three and twenty four, I had her because she oh was born gosh, in March. Bro, that's crazy. My birthday was, was in, in February. We was in the military. <clears throat> and then Brandon was born seven years later, and I was thirty. We were thirty, mm-hmm. I mean. And um, we was young, bro. You know, and I remember at twenty two years old, you came home. I came home from work, and you were waiting for me, and you were like, "We need to talk." And I was like, "What's he gonna say?" And you were like, I'm going to join the Marines. You know, yeah. if you think it's a good idea, I want to join the Marines. So, yeah. And the reason why I did that is because, you know, we were young. Yeah. I already had a kid. Yeah. I, I had two married. jobs. You had two jobs. I was, you were, we I was were working married. at a daycare and still in the nursing home. Yeah. And I just like, what am I going to provide? Like, yeah. for my family. Like, I'm young. I didn't go to college. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like, I barely made it through high school. Like, what am I going <laughs> to do in my life? Like, how am I going to provide? And it's like, like, life literally hit me in the face. And it's like, Psh! and I woke up and I was like, yo, what am I going to do in my life, bro? Yeah. So I was like, All right, the thing I got to do is I got to join the military. Because I need some type of structure in my life, you know, at this point. So, but I, I'm, you know, very happy that I went with the military and I, you know, that I went to the Marine Corps. So... Shout out to all the military men and yeah, women. Thank you, thank for, you for your, your service. service for sure. It's yeah. a lot of sacrifices. Yeah. Um, and we did it together. We did we it did married. It. Like, yeah, you so know a lot saying? of people like, ask me, well, most people want to know, did you marry him what, like after he joined the Marines and all this stuff? I'm like, no, I did that with him. Like, we did that shit together, like, bro. We were already married for a year and then he you know, brought it on us and did it. I waited for you to come back and get me like mm-hmm. three, four months later. And then we left to North Carolina, had Araceli's over there, um, lived yeah. on the military base. Like we did it full time. But we were we were we were living mm-hmm. in in an apartment first. Yes. And it was crazy because like when I when I left the military, uh, when I went to boot camp and we we went back home or whatnot, when it was time to go report to the base. Like, we, here we are. Like, I went back home. I bought a Chevy Cavalier. Yep. Nin- 1999 uh, uh, Chevy Cavalier. 1998. 1999 Chevy Cavalier. Was it 99? Chevy Cavalier. 98, we got married. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 99, I bought a 99, uh, 1999 Chevy Cavalier. And then we drove down to North Carolina with a map. This yes. is like, I, we, need to go, drive. we need to go from J7. And we're going like this. <laughs> right, we got to go through this way. Right what the, what's the exit? Yeah, the exit is going to be like, we literally, like, it was no GPS. There was not even MapQuest at that point. No. Like, MapQuest, we wasn't printing no directions. This is an actual map. And that was the old school joints right here, boy. That's 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 a real navigators right there. I told my mom and your mom, like, our parents, I was like, we'll stop along the way and we'll call from pay phones yeah. and just say that we're okay. I remember getting to our apartment and you were like, I'll be back. 
and I was like, where are you going? And you're like, I'm going to go to rent a center. You yep. rented me a TV, a VCR. A VCR. We went to Blockbuster. We had an we air had mattress. We had arguments at Blockbuster. I don't know how the fuck they didn't call the, the cops on us. And <laughs> say there's a couple here arguing. She wants romance. He wants action. action. And they won't compromise. <laughs> and then and me so, arguing. Babe, there is- there is you nothing. better we don't rewind have... this tape or they're going to charge Judges. us. We had to rewind it, but those are the times. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, like, we went through it. Like, we were yeah. sleeping in an air mattress. And then all we yes. had is an air mattress, a TV, a VCR, yes. and Blackbuster videotapes. Yes. And that's all we had. And I and was, then, like, pregnant with Sully, like, a few months pregnant correct. with Sully. Correct. She will look. She will cry. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm going to have this baby. I don't have nothing. I don't have anything to I don't provide have anything to this to child. Give her. I said, babe, we're going to be all right. Relax. I said that. I said but by that. the time <laughs> the baby was born, we had furniture. She had yes. her own room. We had our yeah. own bedroom. Like, everything was all set. So sometimes when you go through life and you don't know how you're going to get by, yes. life is going to provide. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, it will be given to you. So just relax. Take it one day at a time and don't stress. Yep. You know that I I, um, I read this the other day. 85% of the things that you worry about that you think is going to happen never happen. Never happen. Oh, that's 85% awful. 85% of the things that you that's think awful. are going to happen negatively is not going to happen to you. So you know how much stuff time you is worry? wasted? I know. Yeah, you're wasting well, that's time. awful because sometimes I just get into my head. Like I get in my head Correct. a lot. You Correct. know what I mean? And I got to stop you get from, out of it. from that's what stops you from moving forward and yeah. and growing because fear it'll 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 cut you at the knees yeah you know and then you don't know what to do because it, everything is in your head so i tell people you know what don't be scared to do stuff don't be scared to do things new don't be scared of like you want to start that business you want to do that thing just do it don't think of your the age how old you are don't let fear just kind of hold you back because if that would have been it we would not have made it bro i'm gonna tell you i mean think about it we were so young so young. So young to like to be in a like when your dad told me, Yes, you could marry my daughter after I asked for your hand in marriage. And I'm like, and I look at the t- like how old we were now. Looking at this now, after like I'm seeing my kids and I my kids are like, you know, Sally's 24, but Brandon's 17. Yeah. Like and and go, I'm like, what? I, we were we were how the hell did and he? And I was his baby. Yes, baby, like how baby. were you able like to do that? Child. But I think that is in those days, right? That the the culture was different because the culture was that. I mean, our parents grew up where they were getting married at 15, 16, 16. year old. My mom got married at sixteen. Correct. So so our Your mom parents, got married at eighteen. Correct. So our parents. We're used to getting, uh, you know, being married young. And 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 their parents, you know, our grandparents were married young. You know, my grandmother was, I think, 16, and my grandfather was, like, 17 or 18 when they yeah. got married. And it's like, so it was that, you know, now it's different. Now it's different because now people, I feel like, are, are invested in their careers. They're invested in, you know, their future, how they can provide. And I think that now people kind of wait a little bit longer they're not so much you know? in a rush correct 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 um but back in those days too you know we were in a different area we were raised differently you know we bridgeport connecticut if you know what bridgeport is this is you know it's not it's not a you know people are living you know paycheck to paycheck yeah we were not you know what i mean we were not making money like that well, that was now, just the place like, we used to live. We just, in July, we just celebrated 26 years married. And God damn. 28 years together. Yes. And uh, now your child, you know, the, the bonus child that I have. Yes. Your child is 30. 29. 29, 29. In uh, Connecticut. Poor, and it's crazy. crazy to think that time just goes by. And I know we talk about renewing our vows and being able to uh, do that for a good reason. Some people renew their vows because they had a rough patch or anything. We're doing it because we want to it's celebrate a, it's a, milestone. a milestone, it's that, a milestone. That I mean, reached. it's a lot. I mean, and, and again, I tell people, you know, it's not a, oh, how you guys made it. I mean, you're a perfect couple. Like, we went no. through a lot of stuff not and headaches all. and arguments and fights and crying and, you know, and it's just it's just a, a, a marriage. Yeah. We just decide to stick it through, you know, yeah. see the value in each other. Respect and each other, respect each work other, yeah. at it, 
um, evolve, give each other room to grow and to yes. be yourself, you know, and to be myself. So um, with that, it just brings the, the excitement and the adventure with it. Yeah. But I, I wanted to say I could recall like when I'm trying to get married at the age of 21, I didn't become a bridezilla I, I was well aware that my parents couldn't afford this elaborate wedding. Your mm -hmm. mom came with what she can afford for us. Right, right. And I remember going to JCPenney outlet and it was like the second dress I, I tried on. I had my you mom yes buy it. You said yes to the dress. I said yes to the dress. She said yes and to the dress. And it was like just like $600 or something. And um, I still love it. I think it was the best choice for me. And then I think about, it was like a fairy tale for me. I was in a horse and carriage. Yep. And I was able to do that. So it was like whatever mattered to me was what I did for the and wedding. And I will say it is like, and in, in, in you pay for the horse and carriage. I paid for the like horse and said, carriage. You said, I want to be in a horse and carriage. Her father didn't have the money for it. Like, all right, you want it, you got to pay for it. She went and <laughs> put her R in money. Yes. And you, I think you went to the credit union and you asked for like I a... I just paid it? little by little. That's what it I was, I would yeah. send them a check and pay it. And, um, and I remember uh, doing homemade Spanish food. Um, my parents and your mom got yeah, it together. Was a, it was a no catering, none of that. It was homemade food. The, be the best thing that we wanted for everybody was the best music and an open bar. Boom. And that that's it. So now I think about these weddings that are happening that I see on social media now, and I'm like, it doesn't have to be this way. Well, the thing is that, the, again, we're in a different culture. Yes. And now everybody's all about the presentation on yeah. social media. I want this elaborate thing. And yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. Because if yes. you got the money, fucking then do it. Do if, it. I, <laughs> if I would have had the money back then, I would have done it. But all <laughs> yeah. I knew, all I knew was like, mommy, you got the pernil. You're going to do the arroz con gandule. You're going to yeah. do this. You're going to do that. You know, our uh, my stepdad and your dad bought all the liquor and everybody was just pouring drinks. So it, when I say open bar, it's not like we had a bar and a bartender. No. It was like, no, it was, we had liquor. You go ahead and get your, your drinks. But it, but uh -huh. it was like at that moment, yeah. it was just what it was. And it was beautiful and it was great. And we had fun. You know what I'm saying? And people ate and everybody left great. It's to the point where, you know what I'm saying? I was so hemmed up. That, <laughs> that you, I drove to you our drove, apartment. You drove us to the apartment. <laughs> well, we didn't nothing live, happened that night. We didn't live together until after we were married. So we got the apartment Correct. two months before. Yeah. You moved in. You made sure you got it all ready. But and, we used to I, go in. And I could go. Yeah, I was yeah, going over go there. And I would put up and, and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. And then I'd go home and you'd say... But um, but let's be real. So you know, people didn't think that this was gonna last. Like we're we're like going to yeah, a lot of people. Correct, hey, correct. Hey, but I don't think here that people. We are. Yeah, but you know what it is. I don't think that people really. I mean, we were so young. Yeah, they didn't know what to expect. Yeah, they didn't know what to expect. They were like, they're not gonna last. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh my goodness. They're too damn young. They don't yeah. know what they're doing. But it was it just it just happened. You know. What so I'm saying? you served good. in the military from 1999 to 2003. Yeah. Then you moved. We moved back to Connecticut. Yes. And um, bought a house in Connecticut a couple of years later. Yep. And then lo and behold, in 2011, we came here to visit your brother. Yep. And of like I don't know I don't know if it was I even think it a was few like weeks months. later. No, it was like a few months. Because we see. came in June and then in oh, July by August, or August we were already here. I told no, we got babe. But stop. I but I was here by August. We got here Oct October eleventh. You got here October eleventh. I got here in August because I started to work. You started to work. I was putting. I was waiting for um all the furniture. Everything yeah. got in. I put, by that when she came to the house. Everything was ready. Everything uh, was put Clothes up. were ready. They were, the clothes were already in the gavetas. In the drawers. In uh. the drawers. Everything <laughs> was already up. So when you walked in the house, it was like you didn't have to do nothing but cook. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Everything was there. Oh, I, said, I came. I had the, yeah. uh, what's it called? The, uh, the pod. The pod. The pod came in, dropped Got everything delivered. off in the driveway. Me and my brother started putting stuff together. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. Then he went home, and then it was just like, I was just there overnight. Well, I remember, bro, two, three o'clock in the morning. I had a six pack, and just and just kept going. Just you couldn't even talk everything. to me on the phone. You were like, "I'm working, I'm working." Yeah, I was Trust putting me, everything I'm together. I I'm do going this. back to Walmart. Shit, I'm going back yeah, to Walmart. Yeah, bro, I was going to Walmart two, three o'clock in the morning. We're like, "Damn, I forgot these nails. I forgot this. I forgot that." And it was, but it, we made it all work. Yes. And here we are. And that was in 2011, and that was only three. Would you say it's three houses down to the corner? Yeah. Like. Right here in Southwest Florida, where mm -hmm. we are now. 
And it's the best decision we ever made. Yeah, it sure like was. Everything has worked together for the best. And it, and it was scary, you know. And again, sometimes you have decisions. You have this fork in the road. You don't know where to go left, where to go right. Yeah, you it listen. was scary for me it's to, all scary. to be in North Carolina yeah. by myself. Yeah, it's all scary. But if I think that when you know what you need to do yeah. and you trust yourselves because the answer is in you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The answer is within you. Don't go crazy. God, give me a sign. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that because you're going to make a mistake. Why? Because the answer is already within you. All you got to do is listen. It'll speak to you. You're going to make the right decision. Look at what's in front of you and say, you know what? This is the best thing for me right now. You make the decision. Everything is going to turn out great. Why I say that? Because a lot of people will look for God, talk to me. And the problem is you open yourself to listen to the wrong things because yeah. you're just like expecting somebody going to say something. You know, so a commercial happens like, oh, there it is. They said, do it. You know, and it's like, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to really look within yourself to do that. But we've been able to listen to that. And, mm -hmm. and everything has gone great. I mean, there's times where shit doesn't go great, but you 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 make it work. Mm -hmm. Whatever you can. Well, it's so easy to take chances, take risks, when you have that right person with you. You know what I mean? When I feel like you're my soulmate. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I don't want to get emotional. Oh, don't get emotional, baby. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you. it really is special what we have. And um, when you look back at so many years, I mean, 26 is a mm. lot of years. That's just marriage. Yeah. And the amount of times that you've been there for me, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. And um, that's really what it's all about at the end of the day. And so I just feel like you're my person. You know, you're, you're who I was meant to be with. And I love that. Aww. You don't make me cry. Don't do that. <laughs> it's true. Sorry. Well, listen, after 26 years, I better be your motherfucking person. Oh, God, I'd be <laughs> damn, you wasting your damn time for 26 years. But you know how hard you work to be that person? Hell yeah, yeah. All the <laughs> shit you got to do. And I'll say like this, like in, in, in marriage, it's like when people say, you know, like what's the secret, and stuff like that. I would just say, you know, sometimes you change for the person that you're with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I want to... Like, I'll, you compromise yourself, or... Yeah, like, like, like there's, not in a there's good certain way. things... What do you, what like, do you mean? in a good way, or not in a good way? No, in a good way. Like, like for instance, like... Like, you when make people adjustments. Say, yeah, you make adjustments yeah. to yourself. Because when people say, I will never change for nobody. You know, you, well, I mean, that's an immature th statement, I would say. I think that that, yeah. that there's a time when you say, you know what? I could let this go. This, you know what I'm saying? To make my person happy. Yeah. You know, and it's nothing that's, it's not a make or break deal. Like, you don't, you're not changing your values. You're not changing, you know. And when I say that, it's to, for instance... I'll give you an example. I always make time to sp I always make time to spend with you, mm -hmm. right? If I'm if I was always the type of person because like, you know I like quality time. Yes, if I was a person, I was like, yo, I always love to hang out with my boys, bro. Every Friday, every Saturday, when the weekend <laughs> come, I mean, I give you all the time. But when it comes to the weekend, I need to be with my boys. I feel like when you, if you really want a strong relationship then I think that you have to prioritize that a little bit better. It doesn't mean that you can't hang out with the boys, but it cannot be a ritual. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to be like, like, because it's not just you too. Like, it's, it's, it's Brandon, it's, it's Araceli. Yeah. Uh, you know, she has a boyfriend, so, you know, it's, it's him too. Yeah. You know, how do you spend time? And then you become, you're a creator, you do a podcast, you work. Like, L well, we both really? have full-time jobs. Correct. Really? <laughs> I am not going to really yeah. have a lot of time to just chill with the boys. You know what I'm saying? doesn't mean that we... I mean, but again, every Friday night, family comes over, friends that we have come over. We play board games. Well, we have drinks. Well, 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 yeah, well, well, we have a great time. and so, so those things are being there, but I like to do that with you. Like, I want you to be with me. Like, when we went out... This on past on this past weekend, like yeah. I like to take those times and say, you know what, me and you are going out, just me and you. 
and we go out and we bar hop a little bit. Well, that just we'll started out like a like a dinner at four thirty. You know, yeah. let's go out to dinner, mm-hmm. and then dinner was like, well, let's do a little detour along the way, and then it was just yeah. spontaneous. And it's about having fun with the person that you're with. Like I think, you're not, you know, what I'm saying like I think that it doesn't. We men need to have that amazing time with our wives. It can't yeah. be just, I can't just give that to the fellas and be like, oh, when I'm, I'm going to chew. Again, doesn't mean that it's wrong to chill with the fellas. That's fine. You could do that. That's you. That's fine. But you got to also prioritize your marriage and experiences, opening up myself to try new things, yeah. you opening up yourself to try new things, us giving ourselves, you know, uh, room to grow. Being vocal about what we yeah, need. Or what we, and want, what we or want or what we need. You know, like, it's like, yo, if you want to be a little bit, you know, funky and be like, you know what? I'm, I don't, I want to dress different. Do that. Give yourself yeah. that room to do that. You know, people say at the time, why will you, why at this age, why will you get braces? Because you fucking can. <laughs> because if you decided yeah. to do it, you can. Like, there's yeah. nothing wrong with like, and that's one thing, like, I don't, when people say that, I feel bad because it's like, are you holding back because yeah. you feel you're too old to do this, to yes, do that? Yes, that's exactly what I was just going to say. Like, so have you put a, a age limit that after a certain age, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't, like, you know what I mean? Yes, Some things bro. have to stop. There's no such thing. Correct. Like, There's ladies, no like, you want to dress sexy? Go ahead, man. You want to go to the gym and look good or whatever? Do that. Dress good. Dress to impress. That's part of it. Like, you're going to feel really good. You're going to feel really good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, just don't be scared to have fun with the person that you're with and try these experiences. Ladies, if your man want to fucking skydive, fucking put the parachute on and go skydive with him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, like yeah. have those times. If Guys, if your girl wants you to watch Love is Motherfucking Blind, then... You watch Love is Blind with them. Like, spend those times with them. Like, you know, yeah, I'm not a huge, was it, romantic movie guy? No. But I would watch them with you. I don't have a problem. I'm not having a problem. You're not going to sit there and binge watch Lifetime Channel. (laughs) Correct. But you know what? And I'm going to enjoy the movie because I'm sure the movie's going to be good. I'm just, I'd just rather watch a Marvel movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, (laughs) that's just what who I am. (laughs) But it doesn't mean that I can't not spend that time and watch it with you and enjoy that movie with you. Just don't be like, well, guess what? Now we watch this one. Now we're going to watch the next one. No. Get ready. There's another one. And there's another one. No, 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 no. I think, like, (laughs) what happened to me is, like, when we're talking about our story and I'm reminiscing from how we started and it brings me back to how it all began... Like, I like the emotions that I get out of it. Like, I Mm. like the feeling that comes over me. You know what I mean? It's our story, obviously. Yeah. Uh, But I think our story is special, and I love it, and I enjoy, like, talking about it. And I think that some couples should do that. Like, they, if they're going through a rough patch or through something, like, they should go back and reminisce how it all started, like, how it began. Yes. Because there's some power to that. You know, and if, and my thing is sometimes I talk to women because I'm a hairdresser and they'll say, well, it's just not the right time right now. Now's not a good time. Now's this. And we're waiting for the right time. If you do that, life is going to pass you by. Yes. That's probably not the best thing to do mm-hmm. is to just wait for well, the right time. And the time. thing is, like, you don't know what's going to happen yeah. in life. Life could. I find that life could be really unfair. As sometimes it can. Yeah. And then what happens when something unfair happens? Yeah. And now you could have, should have, would have. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And like, and then you're living in this regret for the rest of your life. And it's like, you know, take the chances and do what you think is right. And and you know, and you know, try, look, try to fix it. Go to go to counseling. You know, that's one thing that we did early we, on. We went yeah. to counseling even before we got married. Yeah. And it wasn't because we were that having a challenge. That was your idea. That came yeah. from you. And I wasn't, that wasn't a, uh, because we was in a bad place. I no. just thought I'm raised one way. You're raised a whole different way. And here two people who are raised two different ways are going to come together and try to make this shit work. Like, I'm sure there's going to be some clashes. So yeah. I want to find out how you think, what are, you, what are your expectations? I want you to know what I think, what are my expectations? You know, what are my things as a man? 
you know, what are your things as a woman? Because, you know, I do feel like the man is the head of the household, mm-hmm. but I don't feel like he, like, what should, how should I say this? Like, like the control's all his. Correct. The control is not all his. Like, the, being a real man is saying, you know, babe, you're right. That's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? But I do, but I do feel like the man has a responsibility to be the person that, you know, if provides, provides that if, if it's in a sound mind, sound spirit, sound heart, you have the last word. You understand you do there's a reason why you're doing it, but you also have to explain that. Yeah. Just like when I tell our kids, like if I my, I'm the damn parent, point blank. Yes. I'm the dad. You're <laughs> yeah, gonna do yeah. what I say. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you why you should be like, hey, Brandon. Can you do this for me? Because I need this, 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 that. Make him understand. Yeah, that there's a reason why. Oh, okay, I got it, Dad. I got you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Don't be the person. No, you're going to do this because this is who I say, and I'm the damn man of the house. <laughs> yes. Like, you sound like a dick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Instead of saying, you know what? Hey, babe, I was thinking of painting this wall red. What do you think? Oh, I really like it blue. Yeah, but the blue, I mean, we got blue currents, so I don't think it's going to look. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, make it red. Perfect. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Like, like you know yes. what I'm saying? Like, talk through it and 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 make those decisions together. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, uh, you we're gonna be all right. I wanted you to tell them like our believe tattoo that we both have matching tattoos. Yes. We were talking about that recently. So believe what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like believe? Like I just feel it's like just I think that the word believe, so we have this tattoo mm-hmm. in this same hand. So it's like this. <laughs> so uh, we have the same tattoo. It's called believe. And I, I just feel like believe is a strong word because, you know, you got to believe in everything. You yeah, believe say believe in, in possibility. Believe in possibility, believe in positivity, believe in each other, believe in your life, believe in your decisions, believe in yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like believe you, in others, which correct. I do. You know, so it's just a very powerful word for me, um, and I just feel like you know, even it's in this reminder. marriage, it's a reminder of you know what you gotta believe in yourself, believe in your marriage, believe in your union, mm-hmm. and uh, we're gonna be all right. But yeah, when you go through tough times, like go back, you know, to the basics and just believe. believe. Yeah, that's it. It's simple, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and that's good. How long we've been doing you this already? Me. Damn. It's been an hour. Has it been an hour? It has been an hour. Shit, girl. I'm you got to me. Tell you. you got me. No, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get you. I'm about to get Don't <laughs> hey, don't be bullshitting, girl. Be like, babe, the camera's off. Let's go to the room. I got a headache. You don't even understand. Just all of a sudden it just happened right now. It was, just happened. You know, no, 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 no. It's all right. <laughs> But look, I uh, hope that you guys can follow us. Again, this is uh, this is a podcast. This is what we do. We're going to talk about certain things. We're going to still be funny. Sometimes we talk about, like, last week's video. You guys got to go check it out. Uh, we yeah. talked about uh, uh, the Halloween party that we're having. We talked about movie. The movie, the Terrifier, Terrifier 3. Terrifier 3. Nobody terrified. movie. And we just watched the movie. We ain't even going to talk about this now, but we watched no. the movie. Was it The Silent? What was it called? Um, speak no evil. Speak. Bullshit ass movie. Speak no evil. I want my time back. Forget <sighs> my money. Keep so my money. Good. I want my it time back. It was just back. like dumb. Like I don't know if you guys seen the movie, but if you guys saw the movie when they went back because that little thirteen year old girl needed her stuffed animal back, that was dumb. That was dumb. But anyway, uh, but we talk about a lot of different things. Sometimes we do get deep into conversations of like certain type of topics. So if you guys have a topic that you want to touch on. Uh, let us know in the comments, you know, and we will, if, if it fits the, the right podcast, we will definitely do that. And uh, we wish you guys an amazing week. Yeah. Share the Thank live you so much. with a coworker or a friend or a family member. And follow us on Instagram, on uh, Facebook. TikTok. TikTok. What Go up, ahead. TikTok? Yeah. Follow us on all those platforms, Swag Madovars. Go to swagmadovars.com if you want some merchandise, some Boom. T-shirts, hats. Get a little cup, man. That's Support us, damn it. Get a little cup. We want to connect com. with you guys. So. Swagmadovars.com. Look at that. Yeah. It's still nice. Woohoo. We have uh, tumblers for water. We got a bunch of stuff. We got shirts. Yeah. So uh, definitely support us if you can. And I hope that we can be an inspiration to you guys. And we'll check you guys out in the next one. All right. You ready? Yes. Peace. Bye.